Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So for today's video, obviously you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking to you about my experience with lash serums, specifically I've been using Revitalash. So I want to talk you through my experience with Revitalash, the pros and the cons, and the reason mostly why I am quitting using it. So when I initially decided that I wanted to start using or to try out a lash serum, I initially thought I'm not going to talk about lash serums on my channel, I'm not going to let people know that I've started using one or talk about using one at all. And the reason being that there are definitely potential risks, potential side effects associated with using products like Revitalash. And while I watched all of the videos, read up on all the ingredients and all of the information for myself, and I felt like I was making a decision that I was comfortable personally with to start using a lash serum. I didn't feel comfortable recommending using them on my channel. As much as whenever I have talked about lash serums, I always give the disclaimer, please do your research, please read for yourself, find out you know, all of the potential associated risks and side effects that there can possibly be with these. And specifically to the lash serum that you choose or want to use yourself. As much as I always give that message whenever I talk about anything like this, you know that people, not everybody is going to do that. If you show, you know, your amazing results, which I'll get to my results in a little moment, my before and after, wow, some people are going to just go and buy it and start using it without doing their own personal due diligence. And I know that that isn't my responsibility. All I can do is recommend that you do that and that you read and point out that there are potential risks, potential side effects, make sure you do your own research. Not everyone is going to. And for that reason, I didn't want to talk about lash serums or to show off my results or potential results that I might get when I first started using this. So I was initially thinking, do you know, what? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to start using it for myself and I'm not gonna mention it or show it on my channel. But I quite quickly realized that just wasn't going to be the right thing to do for a few reasons. But the main one being that since I've had my channel, since I've been on Instagram, since I started like a social media platform, I have always gotten questions about my eyelashes because I have very good natural eyelashes. So I've always had questions, do you use a lash serum? Which lash serum do you use? Do you use supplements for your lashes? How are you getting your lashes so good? Or how, how so long? How do you get your lashes so curly? And the answer is always, I don't use lash serum, never have done before, obviously this year. And and they are just my natural lashes. I'm just very, very lucky, always have been. Literally since I was in school, I've got questions about my eyelashes. I was constantly told off by teachers thinking I was wearing mascara when I was in school and you weren't allowed to wear makeup. And I just never was. I was just always very naturally blessed with my eyelashes. So I felt like once I started using a serum, I knew I was still going to get those questions because I've always had them. You know, whenever someone new comes along who hasn't seen my eyelashes, in action before, weird. I get these questions like week in, week out. So I was either gonna have to start lying, which is definitely not an option for me, or not responding to people and just kind of hiding it, which didn't feel right either. Like I didn't feel like I could just ignore everybody who asks me or lie, it was definitely not going to be an option. So I felt like actually I'm going to have to say, for me, the right thing to do is to just let people know, yes, I have started using a lash serum. Please do your own, you know, due diligence. This is the one that I'm using. And that was that. was that. And I didn't really plan to talk about it anymore, but I did want to honestly answer anybody who, saw, who continued to ask or asked for the first time, do you use a lash serum? I wasn't going to lie and I wasn't going to hide it I wanted to be honest about it but that did come I did make me nervous to do that because I just I just don't want anyone to start using something based on a recommendation from me or even just a mention from me that I don't feel fully confident is completely safe and risk free and it's just it's a, it's something that's constantly on my mind and worries me having a channel you know I flatly refuse to do any collaborations that are relating to supplements or anything else that you put in your body because I'm not a scientist, I'm not a professional when it comes to anything like skincare or nutrition and therefore I don't feel like I should be giving advice or supporting or promoting any products like that on my channel. I 
the same with skincare. I turned down any sponsored skincare post to date. Not to say that I would never ever do a skincare collaboration, but at the moment I just have never wanted to for those reasons. I don't understand the ingredients enough. I'm not a professional and therefore I just don't feel comfortable on my channel using or promoting those types of products. So I feel similarly about this, but at the same time, like I said, I didn't want to lie about it and I didn't want to hide it. So that's my reason why I initially spoke about the one that I used just to let people know that I was using it. And the same reason kind of applies to why I'm talking about me stopping using it today, because obviously I'm sure people have started using this or been thinking about using it based on me mentioning that I was. So yeah, now I need to fess up and let you guys know why I'm going to stop using it as well. Full disclosure here, always. So I started using Revitalash about, it was in February, so we'll say between four and five months ago, four and a half months ago, I believe, to be precise. Now, I, it took me a very long time to actually get noticeable results that I was noticing, but I absolutely did get very, very good results and they have got better and better. So I'd say it was a good few months before I could notice a difference at all. About the 12 week mark, I started to notice a difference when I applied mascara. So when my lashes were bare, I couldn't really see a difference and I would take photos. I wanted to make sure I was taking before and after photos so I could see for myself if there were great results or not. Uh, so I could decide whether I wanted to continue using it, whether it was worth the investment, because it is very expensive. And I'd say, yeah, up about the 12 week mark, when I would take before and after of bare lashes, I really couldn't see much of a difference. It was one of those where I was like, do they look a bit longer? Do they not? I'm not really sure. By the way, the, the hardest thing in the world is getting before and after pictures of your eyelashes, just so you know, it's nigh on impossible to do. But about the 12 week mark, when I would put mascara on, I would massively notice a difference to how my eyelashes looked with mascara on. And I think what was happening there is that my lashes were definitely experiencing some growth, but because the tips are lighter, you know, my lashes are not the same color all the way through, like your tips are kind of invisible, that when you actually colored them in with mascara, that's when you kind of saw the full length of the lashes. And that's why I was noticing it at first, just when I had mascara on. So now at the sort of four month plus mark, they are considerably, very clearly, noticeably, bare lashes with mascara, much, much longer. There are more lashes and they are darker as well. I wouldn't say that my lashes are any thicker or more voluminous, but they are definitely much longer. They are definitely more of them. They are blacker and they are much curlier, which is what I'm going to get onto. Well, having said that they are much curlier, they they aren't actually much curlier, they are just longer and therefore the curliness of my natural lashes, they're just continuing to curl, 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 curl as they grow. Herein lies the issue. So while I have undoubtedly got excellent results and I definitely have not experienced any of the potential side effects and risks, although I have obviously only been using it for a fairly small length of time, the issue that I've got and the reason that I'm going to be stopping using it is that my natural lashes do not work at this length. Let's put it that way. My lashes have always been very curly. So when, before I started using serum, I've never needed to use a lash curler. I've never used one. That's another question I get a lot. Do you curl your lashes? How do you get your, your lashes curl to last? It's never been, I know this whole video is probably making people just fuming with me, like, very, very cross, but I have always had very beautiful, long, curled nat natural lashes. I've never had to curl them to put mascara on, you know, curling lashes or holding a curl has never been something that I have had to worry about. They've always been very perfectly curled, lifted, long, beautiful lashes. So now that they are so long, that curl is just ridiculous. So they are actually curling like almost back on themselves. And again, it's yes, okay, I understand why people might be watching this being like fantastic, amazing, like what a blessing. It's it's not, it's not how I want my lashes to look. So I'm giving you a super close up here so that hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. This side is not too bad. These outer lashes are definitely a bit wild, but this side is a constant issue. So you can see on, this particular in, inner portion of these lashes, they go 
this way. They're pointing, bending that way because they are curling so much that they're kind of curling and they're having to go that way. They're kind of curling back on themselves. And I really don't like how this looks. I'm having to be very, very careful when it comes to applying mascara because obviously if I apply like mascara how I would have done before the lash serum, it just causes me even more problems. It is just, they are just getting wilder and wilder. They're going in all kinds of different directions. They're very hard to control and there's really nothing that I can do to make them more uniform. So this side today doesn't look too bad, but it has been taken a lot of like going back and forth and messing around with them to get them to look kind of in the realm of where I want them to be and how I want them to look. But this side is just never how I want it to look. It's just always problematic. They're always bent. They're always going in the wrong direction. And whatever I've tried, it just, it doesn't look, I'm not happy with how they look. They're, they're just, a mess. So this is the comes to the reason why I'm going to be stopping using the Revital Lash. I just think it doesn't work for my natural lashes. It doesn't enhance them. Actually, I prefer how they were before. And I think if my lashes, you know, grew perfectly beautifully straight, or even if they weren't as curly and I had to use a lash curler to just get the lift and the shape that I wanted, that would be fine. But because they're so curly, there's no such thing I've found as a lash straightener. Now I have been looking at tips and ways to get your lashes to, you know, to be uncurled. One suggestion was to use your eyelash curler like upside down. Doesn't really work, doesn't really do anything for, in my case, or it doesn't do what I want it to do, which is to like straighten the lashes to make them go in the direction I want them to, make them more uniform and follow the shape of my eye. Um, I've also heard people suggest to use a heated lash curler and kind of use it almost like in a straightening way from the top down. I don't want to use heat on my lashes. I just feel like that's just a recipe for disaster. And it's not something I want to have to get into doing every day, you know, heating up a lash curler and straight ironing out my eyelashes. It's just not, doesn't really fit with my lifestyle, if you know what I mean, to have to do that every day. Ultimately, what it comes down to is as much as like, I love how long and amazing my lashes have gotten I actually preferred them before when they were just in their natural state and it was very very easy for me to apply mascara and I could get them just as long and as you know dramatic looking using mascara and that whole process would be much 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 easier than it is now and actually most days nine out of ten days I I'm not happy with how my lashes look because of the bend, because of the over curl, because they are just crazy and there's nothing I can do. If I use the lash color, it actually just gets worse because they almost end up like flipping upside down. Um, so yeah, I'm just not happy with how they look. I feel like I prefer them before. So this experiment is going to be coming to an end. So I am aware that I, my lashes are now gonna essentially fall out. Not like I'm, I, I mean, hopefully I'm not gonna go bald, We'll see, I will keep you posted on exactly what happens. But one of the side effects people talk about with lash serums is when you stop using it, basically you lose a lot of your lashes, but at, in reality you're not, your lashes are just going back to how they were prior to the lash serum. It's a bit like, you know, when you're pregnant and your hair just gets amazing and then you have the baby and all your, it feels like all your hair's falling out, but really you're just going back to your pre-pregnancy hair routine and your hair growth cycle because actually how these lash serums work is that they extend your natural lashes growth cycle or growth part of the cycle. So eyelashes then go through a cycle of growth. So they fall out when they're dead and then they start to regrow and they grow and they grow and then they have a like a I'm just here and I'm living and this is my full grown state before they then fall out and regrow again. What lash serums do is they just extend the amount of time that your lashes grow for, which obviously makes them longer. It also makes it appear like you have more lashes, although you've probably got the same number of lashes you've always had. It's just that they're all visible and in that growth stage at the same time for longer so you they're more noticeable you see them more so i'm okay with that i'm more than happy for my lashes to go back to how they were before um and even if you know i lose more lashes and i have to regrow that's fine with me i understand that's going to happen um but yeah i just think for me they're just too wild i can't control them i i'm struggling to get mascara to apply i know lots of you are going to think i'm mad because i have had 
a crazy number of compliments. I mean, I always have had compliments on my lashes anyway, but it's definitely stepped up. I've definitely had a lot more people commenting on them and commenting on my lashes and how amazing they are and how incredible they have grown. So I, I know some of you will think I'm crazy, but you know, we're all so different and what we prefer and what we like and what we think looks good. And it's not just about actually how they look because after a lot of time and effort, I can get them to look half decent, but it's just so much more effort to apply mascara, to work with my lashes now because they are just oh, like almost too long. You know, that was a thing. If they were growing perfectly uniformly in the direction, shape and everything that I wanted them to, then we may have a different story. But with them just growing all over the place, wild and willy nilly about the place, I just can't. I can't be dealing with that. So my plan with the serum is that I'm going to be just going down to using it like once a week. Um, and we're gonna continue just to see if they improve. Like my one thought was whether actually these the current lashes, when they eventually fall out and then regrow, perhaps they would regrow in a slightly more helpful direction and shape and pattern. So I'm kind of curious to see, I've got like basically a new lash serum, so I'm, considering whether I just use it up, using it once a week, using it more sparingly to see if that can make an improvement. But once this is gone, I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing it. So I will keep you posted as to how things are developing, whether they're getting better or worse. And I'll let you know when I have fully stopped using it because I don't want to just go cold turkey. I think it's probably better to kind of wean my lashes off of it to try and hopefully eliminate some of the like massive difference when I stop using it. So I'm very interested to know if any of you guys have used lash serums, whether this happened to you, whether it made your lashes more curly if you had straight lashes and that was a really great thing for you or if you had really curly lashes and you had the same issue, I would love to know what your experiences are with lash serums in the comment section down below. I hope you found this video helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.